A description of the event is students will identify anatomical structures of the human nervous and circulatory systems. Included on the test are scientific names of the part of the brain, a spinal cord cross-section, a neuron, a simple spinal reflex, special senses, that's going to include the ear and the eye and the cardiovascular system. The team size for this event is one or two students. The approximate time it will take to complete in May will be 30 minutes. Um, the competition itself is, is set up like it states here. 26 stations will be set up around the room. Each station will have models or pictures of anatomical structures of the human nervous and circulatory systems. Questions will relate to the identity of those structures. The teams will move through the room, one team per station, answering the question at each station as they go. This is the important part. It's a time exercise. A facilitator will direct the students to move to a new station at one minute intervals. All right? The answers will be recorded on the provided Scantron answer sheet with a number two pencil. Your students should provide the pencil, so they should bring their own pencils. And then the scoring, there'll be 25 stations with three multiple choice questions per station. It's bolded in because in the past, we've only had two questions per station. It's a change, so that's why it's bolded in. So if you participated before, your students were only answering two, and now they're going to be answering three. We're making it a little bit more challenging, frankly, I think. The question will be worth two points for a total of 150 possible points. The teams with the highest point total will be the winner. Ties will be broken by three questions at station 26. These questions will be open-ended, in other words, not multiple choice, and will be recorded on the back of the Scantron answer sheet. Only the correct spelling of scientific names of the structures will be accepted. So we're really picky about the spelling in those three. It, uh, we, we probably only have to go to the tie break maybe, you know, uh, less than a dozen times. But if we do, and that's the only reason we would look at those questions, right, for your students, <laughs> if they're in a tie with another group. Otherwise, we won't count them as anything. All right? And then after that, um, all that is on the sheet are the structures that they have to know. Literally, this, these are the structures. We're not going to add anything to this. So I know we've been getting questions. You know, we have carotid arteries on here, for example. Do the students have to know left and right carotid arteries? No. They just have to know carotid arteries or whatever. I guess it's the coronary arteries. Sorry. Coronary arteries. Uh -huh. You're going to submit your questions. As you start studying, you might have questions. Don't submit them to us personally, like you've done in the past. Those of you have done it in the past. You have to submit them to the, you know, macombso.org, whatever, the website that's set up for the Macomb Science Olympiad. It's, all right? Um, sending them to us, we can't answer them, and we keep getting them, and then it feel, we feel bad, so we start answering them, and it's really not supposed to be how it's done. If you send it to the website, then we get it. We answer it, and they post it on the website, so all of you can check that website. Maybe the question's already been asked. So in the Learning Center, we will have a box for you there by the 12th. It will be earmarked for A is for anatomy. There will be a list of structures in there. And because we're going out on the limb to actually take those structures from the anatomy class, please, 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 don't let them disappear and try not to harm them, because some of those structures cost a lot of money. And so if you sign out the whole box, please share if another team comes in, because there will only be one big box. And what you'll see when we go through the practice exam, we'll try to have at least one of each of those 3D models in that box. We, at this point, we can't put more than one, so you're going to have to share it. It may be we may have two or three hearts, because they're in abundance. But some of the stuff with the nervous system, we will only have one representation of. So please keep in mind that if another team decides to come on Saturday afternoon, you may actually have to share that material. So if everyone will look at the front of their Scantron, at the top it says name. On the day of the event, there will be a sticker, a label there. And there you'll write your name, your team number, your district name, as well as your school name sticker and tell you exactly what to write where. So for now, just act like you're writing your name, writing your team number, and your district number. Okay. Your district name. Okay, has everyone put something on their answer sheet? Yes. Okay. Now I would like for you to turn your answer sheet over to the back. You'll see a top. 
32 in the middle row, and then 33. Those will be your answers to your tiebreaker questions. So you're going to write them there. Does everyone see the green region? Great. On the back. Write it on the back. Great. 31, 32, 33. Yes. Okay. Great. That will only be for your tiebreaker question. Okay? Circle the number of the question that you will answer first. So how do you figure that out? Look at the paper that you... <laughs> Next station, please. Keep walking. Team members may communicate by pointing at their answer choice. No hugging between team members is allowed. No verbal communication. So you have to have some signaling system or you have to point to the answer you want to shade in on your Scantron answer sheet. Multiple choice questions at oh. every station except for the tiebreaker where you have to actually write it in. So it's three questions you actually have to write out the answer to. Next station, please. Right there. <laughs>